And a welcome back. In today's community conversation, we have Lauren Macias Cervantes with TechStot. Now, Lauren, there are some changes starting this weekend for both Whitening Road projects. Not only that, but some that happened overnight. What should people expect? Right. So whether you drive on the west side or the far east, you'll need to pay attention. We're going to start today with our uh, Loop 375 widening project near Saragossa. A traffic switch there goes into effect for northbound traffic on Monday, April 29th. Drivers heading northbound on the loop will shift to newly paved lanes to the left and will be traveling next to southbound traffic. There will be concrete barrier and no shoulders. Now this change will stretch about a mile and is needed so crews can reconstruct the old northbound main lanes. Now another change you'll see, the Saragossa exit will go down to one lane. That means you need to plan for extra travel time and the change in configuration while crews reconstruct the area. Now plan for a weekend closure ahead of the switch between Pan American and Saragossa. So this is everyone's heads up because when Whenever that happens during the weekend, we always see it on social media, people complaining about these closures. So you're giving everyone that warning. <laughs> now for the west side, another area that is really busy overall. But some good news, another portion of I-10 is now open to two lanes instead of one. And there's also some ramp changes coming yes, up. Yes, so first, that opening of that second lane from Vinton to Canutia. And we have video that was taken this morning. That section opened up to two lanes. Uh, that means drivers now have more space to travel. That area went down to one lane so crews could begin work on the Los Mochis interchange. Now work continues on that future bridge and an Arroyo bridge nearby. So watch for crews in the area. We also have some ramp changes beginning tomorrow morning. That is when all barricades will be gone at the connector from Trans Mountain to I-10 East. It's going to reopen. Another change, the temporary exit in front of Canutio High School. It's going to close. The new permanent red road exit will also open. Now keep an eye out because the new exit is half a mile sooner, so pay attention. Now Thursday, some changes on red road. The red road eastbound entrance ramp to I-10 will close. Drivers will need to continue to Thorn and enter at Mesa. Uh, so this is the new uh, red exit that you'll see open up. And then this ramp is closing. This is how you get to I-10, right, off of uh, red on I-10 East. That ramp is going to close. Um, and then um, we have the turnarounds that will be closing at red. And we will, on this map, you can see all the turnarounds will be closed. We already have one that has been closed for a couple of weeks, but we're closing all of them. That's because crews are going to demo that rail um, and the edge of the bridge deck okay. to begin. We've got to add that third lane over that uh, overpass. And how there. long is those changes supposed to last? Someone on red? Yeah, so expect those uh, about six months or longer, depending on, you know, uh, things can always um, extend, but be prepared for at least a six month uh, change on that. And be prepared for that weekend closure because this weekend is when we'll have that extended closure where crews will demo um, in that area. Now, and each of these projects have weekend closures for these changes. Yeah, so as we mentioned, uh, closures on red and loop 375 between Pan American and Saragossa. And it's a lot of information, right, that we gave out. So um, they can go on text.gov, on our Twitter, Twitter, on our Facebook, and then you also will put up the Yeah, yeah, you can read more on uh, not only these two road projects, but closures happening around El Paso. Head to our website, kfoxtv.com, and click on the traffic tab. Well, thank you again, Lauren, for joining us, and we'll see you back next week.